Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be giving you all of my tips on how you can succeed in a science degree, specifically a biochemistry degree, and steps that you can take during your degree to have a better chance of actually getting a job in your field once you finish school. So if you wanna hear all my tips and tricks for university, then just keep watching. Okay, so tip number one is you do actually have to attend all of your classes. I know that maybe in the fall with everything that's going on, a lot of classes might still be online, but you need to be present when those classes are running, whether it is an online seminar um, or just if you do have online classes in general, you have to block out time every single day to be working on those classes. You can't just leave it for like one day a week and hope that you're gonna get everything done. Attending classes is really important. Now you cannot just attend classes and sit there and listen. You have to be doing active listening, which means you really gotta write things down. You really have to make sure you're processing that information. If you're just sitting there with your laptop or your phone scrolling through social media, um, that's not a very good use of your time. Definitely be looking at the content that is being presented to you and make notes as you go. So kind of sticking on the theme with you know, processing a lot of information and learning new things. It is really helpful to study in groups. So as soon as you can, find a few people that are in the same classes as you and review your notes on a weekly basis with them. It can be a really fun thing where you guys have, you know, snacks and you're just kind of hanging out and going through the content, talking about it, making sure that you understand any concepts that weren't so clear to you in the beginning and just having oral conversations about the content that you are learning. Now, aside from the actual content presented in your courses, you absolutely want to meet every single professor that teaches your classes and courses. Now, this is gonna become really important, especially in your third and fourth year, but it is important to start doing right off the bat. Professors love talking about their research and love talking about you know, their kind of professional history and everything. So schedule a time with your professor to just sit down ask them questions about their research, ask them questions about their career path. They will be more than happy to provide this time to you and to share their knowledge and experience with you. Building those relationships will come in handy so many times in your degree and also in your career moving forward. I cannot stress this enough. You need to be building relationships, not just with your peers, but with the professors um, that are teaching your classes. So the one thing that I did um, that really changed my whole degree and career path and everything was in my first year of university I started volunteering in a lab now this is going to be beneficial specifically for those that are in a biochemistry degree um, or really any life sciences but just go through all of the professors at your university find someone that is doing research that you find interesting go meet them ask if you can volunteer in their lab and start committing you know five to eight hours a week of your time on top of your coursework, on top of your lab work and everything else, just volunteering in their lab. This is gonna connect you with the, the actual application of everything you're learning and it's gonna make everything that you're learning make a lot more sense and seem a lot more important. So processing information is going to actually have a real application in your life because you're actually gonna be using that information. That is something that really changed my career path. I am still in touch and still collaborate with the first professor that I ever volunteered for in my first year university. And that has made a huge difference in both my degree, my passion for my degree, and then also my career moving forward. So I cannot stress that one enough. You have to have to volunteer in a lab, especially just do it in your first year so that everything starts kind of building a nice picture and you start to figure out um, what interests you, what doesn't, if you wanna be doing lab work, if you wanna be doing more field work, um, and also, it gets you working with graduate students who have already gone through the degree that you're doing. They'll have a lot of tips. They'll have a lot of advice. They might have even had the same professors as you. So you definitely want to be connected with those, pe those people that are a little bit higher up in the kind of university experience. Now, exams are a big, big component of 
your university career. So that brings me to today's sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare. You guys have heard me talk about Skillshare before, but it is an online learning community where they have a ton of different classes in subjects such as business, entrepreneurship, illustration, design, but they also have a lot in like productivity, in education and how to make the most of your time. And there's one specific course that I think is going to be really helpful for you guys if you are in university. It is called How to Study for Exams, an Evidence-Based Masterclass. So we all can think that we know how to study, but studying effectively is going to make not only the most of your time, but it's going to help you perform better. And studying is not just a process that you do before exams, it is your process of learning throughout your entire course experience. And it starts from day one, the second you walk into that classroom or log into the class online. So Skillshare is like a Netflix subscription. You sign up and it's a monthly rate to just have unlimited access to their classes. It's about $10 a month to um, join the platform and start learning with these really cool online classes. So I definitely recommend you guys go click in the link in the description box below. It'll give you two months of Skillshare Premium, which gives you access to all of the classes and also the one that I mentioned, which is this how to study for exams. So if you are going into university in the fall or if you are already a university student, definitely just take the time to go check this out. Um, go through this class. It's about four hours and 30 minutes long, but it'll definitely benefit you to approach the studying experience for exams from day one. Okay, so we've talked about studying for exams. We've talked about attending classes and how to get the most out of your classwork. We've talked about volunteering, um, building those connections and relationships with professors. And now I just want to talk about other opportunities that are available at universities. So for me, I was really interested in both entrepreneurship and biochemistry. So I applied for the startup program at the University of Guelph during my degree, and that made a huge difference. It gave me the opportunity to really launch my business further while I was still in university with a ton of support um, and ongoing support even past university. Because I did that program, it gives you access to a lot of mentors and just a lot of resources. Universities are just a huge resource center and if you make the most of it, you can get a lot of tools and access to really expensive equipment and really experienced personnel just at your fingertips. And if you build those relationships during your university career, then those will become lifelong relationships and resources and references that you have ongoing to help you get the job that you desire. Another tip for university is it is so, so, so important to take, take care of yourself, not only physically, but mentally. If you do feel like you are getting too stressed out, if you feel that you are getting a bit low, getting depressed, then you need to find some resources to get on top of it as quickly as possible because university is very stressful. There's a lot of going on for a lot of people. It's the first time they've been away from home and it can just bring on a whole slurry of uh, situations that you may find yourself in. So definitely stay on top of your mental health if you need to get help get help as soon as possible um, and then the other thing is just physical activity if your university has a gym i highly suggest you sign up you can go between classes you can go right after class it's going to break up your day so that you don't just feel like you're on a computer all the time so that is really important as well the other thing is diet you need to make sure that you are feeding yourself properly um, not just eating junk food all the time and that's going to help your brain as well if your university program does offer a co-op program, I highly recommend you start doing the co-op program from day one. A lot of universities will let you sign up for co-op kind of when you're applying for university. So if that is an option for the degree that you're going after, definitely do it. That also made a big difference um, for myself. And then lastly, you have semesters off during your university career and you should take those opportunities to actually work in your field. So that's why volunteering in a lab is so important because maybe for that summer you can then work in that lab, be paid to um, you know help with a grad student project or whatever it is, but you don't wanna just be going home and working, you know, a service job or something unrelated to your field you want to try as hard as possibly can 
to take all of those gaps that you have in your university time to start building your resume, building your professional experience, building your research experience, and so that when you are going to graduate, you already have four years of experience working in your field, working in labs, working in research. So definitely take those opportunities to get something in your field and don't just opt for the job that you had in high school. Okay, I think those are all the tips that I have for university. There's probably a few more, but if you do have questions about university or a career um, in biochemistry, definitely leave them down in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer some questions that you guys may have. And as I mentioned during this video, definitely go check the link in my bio to sign up for Skillshare and do that course that is how to study for exams because you need to know how you're gonna study for exams from the day one that you start every single course. And that's when your studying really starts. It's not, you know, five days or two weeks before an exam. It starts day one when you start that course. And thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I love partnering with them because they just have so many different options as far as the things that you can learn about. And it is unlimited. Once you join the platform, you can just keep on doing classes over and over and different topics and really expand your knowledge and creativity. Okay, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, definitely let me know. And I will see you in my next video.